In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the color of the Photoshop interface. That's right, you can customize individual UI elements in Photoshop. There's two ways of doing it, a manual method and a method that utilizes a script and you're going to learn both in this video. So why don't we jump right into the tutorial. You can press Control K on Windows, Command K on the Mac to bring up the preferences panel and go into interface and you'll see four color themes. This dark one, this dark gray, light gray, and this bright one. So these are very important and we have to keep them in mind as we customize the colors in the interface, okay? So we're gonna come back to why this is important in a moment. For now, I'll press on cancel. And the first step is to open up a specific file in the Photoshop installation. So I'll bring up this window. And what you wanna do is from the C drive, you wanna go into the program files. By the way, if you're on a Mac, that's the application folder. I'm on a Windows Mac, go to the application folder. From there, you should see an Adobe folder. And then you can scroll down until you see the Adobe Photoshop 2021 folder. This will also work in Photoshop 2020. So instead of the Photoshop 21 folder, go into the required folder. And from there, scroll all the way down until you see the uicolors.txt. Very, very important before you do anything else, make sure that you copy this file because if you make a mistake later on, you wanna be able to come back into this original file. So let's do that now. You can just simply right click on it and copy it or right click again and paste it. In Windows, Photoshop is going to ask for administration permission. I'll press continue and copy that file in there and I'll rename it and I'll call it original so that we know that this is our original file. Again, we need permission to rename the file and I'll press continue. So now we're going to work on the original TXT file, but we have a backup just in case we make a mistake. And we're going to edit it with a text editor. Don't use the default text editor in Windows because it might create some administration issues. I found better luck with a third-party text editor. I'm going to use a free alternative called Notepad++. You can download it for free if you're on Windows. On a Mac, just use a coding editor. So right-click on here and go into Edit with Notepad++. And that will open up this tab with all this code. And right off the bat, you can see these labels with colors inside. These are RGB values, the red, green, and blue values. And the third value is the alpha. In other words, the opacity. 1.0 means 100% opacity and 0.5 is 50% opacity. And I think you get the idea. But anyway, we have a label and four RGB values. The value on top is for the brightest theme. The second value is for the second brightest theme. The third one is for the third brightest and the fourth one is for the darkest theme in Photoshop. So that is very important to note. So what we're gonna do is replace these RGB values with the values for the colors that we want to apply to the interface. And we're going to apply them to the corresponding UI element. So let's talk about finding the UI elements. So there's a couple things you may wanna change. For example, the scroll bar. You can scroll all the way down until you find the scroll bar, or you can just press Control F and just type in scroll bar. And you can see that we have the scroll bar fill, scroll bar arrows, and the scroll bar elevator fill. So this is the one that we're gonna work for this tutorial. And the elevator fill is basically this bar right here, but in Photoshop, obviously. And what we're going to do is edit the third line because I'm in the second darkest color theme. So I'm gonna edit that line. How do we find the RGB values? You can find them in Photoshop, but the downside is that Photoshop doesn't allow you to copy and paste all three values at once. So it could take a little time to paste them all in there. Instead, you can find an online color picker and, and use that. I'm gonna show you the one that I like. So the one that I like is this one here. You can find it at colors.co, colors with two O's. And you can just simply click on the swatch and select any color that you want. I'll select a blue and I'll just select something that looks good to my eye. Maybe this one here, you can see the name, you can see the HTML value, but if you scroll down, you can see the RGB value and you can just click on this icon to copy it. Another reason why I like this page is because it gives you so much information about the color that you select, including comparisons to other color libraries like Pantone. But anyway, I'm gonna go back into this document and I'm going to 
paste this by pressing Control V, and I'm going to save by pressing Control S. And Notepad++ will ask me if I want to save this using administrator mode. I'll click yes, and click yes one more time, and now the file is saved. What I'm going to do now is close Photoshop. So I'll close Photoshop and I'll bring it back up. When Photoshop comes up, I'm just going to open up a file. I'll use the same one that we were looking at a moment ago. And when it opens up, you can see that we have these blue scroll bars. And that's how you would customize different UI elements in Photoshop. All you have to do is follow the same process with the different UI elements that you want to change. Below in the description, there's going to be a link to my website, and I'm going to show you some of the ones that you might want to change. I'll list them out, and all you have to do is copy the name and then find them in your document and replace the color. Now, there's another method of doing this, and this is with a script, and it's actually in some ways a little easier. I can't take the credit for this script. It was made by Jazz Y or Jassy. I'm not sure how he would pronounce it, but Jassy is in the Adobe Community Forums, and he was kind enough to create this script, and he put it out there for free. I'll link to that actual post where he left the script in the description as well, so you can go check it out and maybe get in touch with him and say thank you if you like. I wish I had more information about Jazz and other social medias, but I don't. This is all I have, so I hope that maybe he watches this video and leaves a comment with his Instagram or something else. But anyway, let me show you what he created for us. And I have this file here based on the script from Jazz, and I'm also going to post the file on my website if you want to download it. But what you want to do is double click on it, and that will open up Photoshop. You can just click on yes, and this window will appear. It contains all the same labels and RGB values that we saw earlier. If you scroll down, you'll find the same widget scroll bar elevator fill color change we made earlier. The advantage of using his script in this interface is that you can simply click on that circle and pick a color. Watch this. So I'm going to select that same blue and now I'll make it red. I'll press OK and then click on Save UI Colors.txt. Now, something that I should note is that the script for me wasn't working if I saved it directly into that folder, but if I save it somewhere else and drag it into the folder, it works. So it may work for you saving it directly to the folder and it didn't for me, but that's no biggie. So what I'm going to do now is simply save it onto my desktop and there it is, uicolors.txt, click on save and I'll close Photoshop and there's a file, uicolors.txt and all I need to do is go into my folder here and replace that file. So let me minimize this and just drag the file in here and I'll replace the file destination. I'll give my administrator permission by pressing continue. And now let me open up Photoshop. So I'll open up Photoshop one more time and I'll go into this document that I've been working on. And as you'll see, we now have red scroll bars. So this is how you can customize your Photoshop UI. Remember on my website, I'm going to have a description of more elements that you can change so that your UI can look like this.